Gloucester Cathedral, but perhaps not as you've seen it before. In the place where Harry Potter was filmed, models prepare for a photo shoot depicting the coronation of the boy king Henry the Third. The year was 1216. Henry was one of only two English monarchs to be crowned outside Westminster Abbey since the Norman Conquest in 1066. Well, I think it's a great idea.、Uh, not many people realise there was a coronation here for a start, so that's a, a plus to、uh, make sure that Gloucester is put on the map in that way. But also, I think、uh, the idea of actually putting these photos around our shops is, is a brilliant one. We really need to make the place look smart and and interesting. This photo shoot in Gloucester's best-known building is the third in a series illustrating pivotal events in the city's history, creating a 2,000-year timeline dating back to its origins as a Roman fort, with just a hint of 21st-century hindsight. Yeah, the feedback's been really, really positive.、Uh, had some challenging comments.、Uh, people are perhaps a little bit surprised of some of the imagery. You know, it's not what you'd normally associate with Gloucester. But we think we've got to be contemporary. We've got to be modern. We've got to attract all age groups. We have a mission to educate as well as to promote. I mean, you need to attract people and get things in. I'm not sure the Queen would necessarily have looked as wonderful as that, but I mean, there you are.、Um, it's a bit of fun, isn't it? The campaign is the brainchild of Marketing Gloucester Limited, the organisation set up to sell Gloucester to the world as a leading tourism, leisure, and retail centre for the southwest. Well, it's a testimony to the actual campaign itself. We've had fantastic feedback and、uh, lots of media attention already, and the campaign hasn't even kicked off. You know, it's not even on the windows. And here we are、um, from the、uh, marketing so far. We've had BBC Two, the Money Programme, pick it up, pick up the media exposure, actually come down and film us. They're very interested in what we're doing here in Gloucester. We're quite unique. We're vo- very forward-thinking, and lots of other cities and towns are coming forward and saying, actually, we'd really like to do what Gloucester's doing. There's so much history, so much to tell. Next up is the siege of Gloucester in 1643. John Stafford Smith, the Gloucester musician who composed the American national anthem, the Star Spangled Banner, right up to aviation pioneer Sir Frank Whittle, who developed the first jet engine while working just down the road from here in Brockworth, a time when Gloucester could quite rightly claim to rule the skies, long after the boy king ruled the land.